The biggest challenge uh, facing our industry right now is to ensure that the products, the services that we offer our customers are truly personalised. I think if we step back a few years, it was quite acceptable to sell exactly the same product to multiple people over and over again all day long. What we are now seeing is an increasing trend to personalisation of platforms, of experience, of journey right the way through the customer lifecycle. So ensuring that all of our functionality and our systems and processes and the way in which our people interact with our market's customers is genuinely personalized is incredibly important. Markets.com benefits from outstanding technology and best people in the industry. Every single person comes to work all day long, working out how they can improve the customer experience. Whether they're developing a platform, whether they're answering the phone to resolve a customer query, whether they're getting involved in the onboarding of new customers, dealing with funding, deposits, withdrawals. Getting all of those different teams to talk, to work collaboratively, is something that I think really sets our industry and particularly the Markets.com company and brand side. I like to encourage every single one of our people, not just to think about their particular role, but to speak to colleagues right across the industry, right across the teams, all of the different functions, so that they can genuinely understand how their role fits into the entire life cycle of one of our customers and how their niche expertise enables the customer to generate an income, manage their risk, or indeed, to solve a problem. Innovation is absolutely critical. And to have the very best innovative minds, you've got to recruit the very best people, you've got to develop them, you've got to give them intriguing issues to work on, you've got to give them exciting problems to solve. Ultimately though, it all comes down to how can we solve a customer's problem. And so to provide answers to those, uh, those, those, those questions, you need to get under, under the skin of the customer. You need to understand what they're looking for. And so we have focus groups, we speak to people in the peer group, we speak to our customers day in, day out. We look at every single review that comes into our business, whether that's good or bad, to understand how we can innovate, how we can genuinely set ourselves apart from the competition, and ultimately how we can give that customer a very much better service than anybody else out there in the industry. Trust is absolutely critical in this industry. People are sending us money and they uh, hope that they are able to generate an income from that or manage their risk. Having a good brand, loyal staff, and the very best technology that's robust, that's scalable, that is there providing good pricing, solid execution, all the way through volatility is absolutely critical. It's no use just being good doing certain hours or in certain products. You have to give a really good service across every single product that you offer, across each of the geographies. That's not just a technical question. That's about the responsiveness with which you pick up a phone if a customer has a query. That's about the ease with which they can onboard. That's about the speed with which you enable them to make a withdrawal. So putting it all together, it's simply about having a razor sharp focus on delivering day in, day out for the customer across every single part of that journey. Regulators globally set the overall framework and we have seen a gradual coalescence of regulatory standards in many jurisdictions, certainly in the UK, Australia, Europe and many of the other jurisdictions in, in which we operate. There will always be some people out there that try to push the boundaries, do things differently, but we like to strive for the very highest regulatory standards in all of the markets in which we operate. The last question asked a little bit about trust. Well, ensuring that you're not picking up fines from regulators, you're not being censured, is all part of that critical journey on trust. So we maintain a very open dialogue with all of our global regulators. If we're trying to do something new, we engage with them. If we think we've got a question that we need some, some advice on, we engage lawyers, we speak to regulators. There's always a dialogue here. And having that open dialogue enables us to work on innovative solutions whilst ensuring that we are fully compliant from a regulatory standpoint everywhere we operate. So it's very important to be able to tailor your pricing, your liquidity, your execution against all different types of incoming flow. One of the things that sets markets apart is that we're able to offer different pricing to different categories of customer, different jurisdictions on different products. So that's something that we really use to best effect when we have challenging market conditions, lots of volatility. So by being able to offer customers a bespoke service, we can best tailor the offering that we give to every individual. It's just about talking to people, whether you're talking to your own staff, colleagues, team members, whether you're talking to people at expos, industry events, whether you're reading widely in the financial press. Just absorb as much information as you possibly can.
Culture needs to pervade every single aspect of the organisation by encouraging people and demonstrating through your own actions that the customer comes first and that you should always do the right thing. You get a culture that grows organically and one that ultimately feeds right through into the recruitment market and it feeds through into the people you bring on board into the firm and as they rise up and grow their careers. You're never going to be able to do everything that you want to do. So it's really important that you have a prioritization process and the best results from a, such a process comes from the minds of all of the team leaders, all of the individuals involved. So by getting everybody together, by working effectively as a team, by looking at every single aspect of the operation and how a new initiative might touch it, you can come up with a really good prioritized list. Of course, over the top of that, you've got to overlay the, the, the commercial opportunity, but by getting every single person that inputs into a, the launch of a product in one room, talking, sharing experiences, sharing knowledge, you can put something together that's pretty compelling. So I would urge people to trust in their teams. They are the ones that are at the cold face, speaking to customers, speaking to suppliers every single day. They're the ones where the real good, thorough ideas about a new initiative or a way to improve something come through. Don't just assume that because you happen to be the CEO of an organization, you've got a monopoly on good ideas. That's absolute nonsense. The really very best ideas come from people that are dealing with customers day in, day out. And I would urge aspiring CEOs to speak to their staff very widely. Speak to as many people as you possibly can across every single function every day. Trade global markets now.